Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I'm really excited to be sharing the new stamp sets that are releasing at Everyday Explorer, and today is August 11th, 2020. These are beautiful stamp sets, so let's just jump in, and I want to share them with you because they are gorgeous. So this first one is called 100% Me, and it's all about like prompts that will help you journal about yourself. Things like, this makes me so happy, this really bums me out. This matters to me. My top five qualities. I really love this. You guys know I love to kind of document myself as well. I always recommend that. Don't forget yourself while you're documenting everybody else. Make sure you document yourself. Moving on, let's check out this other stamp set here. So this one is called Big Wins. And I really enjoy stamps like this where I can document you know, uh, accomplishments that I've done, my kids, my family, whatever the case is. So faced my fears, voted, took care of myself first, uh, shared my story, had a tough conversation. Really cute. I love this, the had the tough conversation. I have those a lot with my own kids. So I'm going to be using that a lot. Next up, this is all about going back to school. If you guys are like me, uh, my high schooler is going to be 100% online. So what I love about this um, school stamp set is you can still document your kids while they're, you know, going to school online. So you have class is in session, official photo, first day of school, time to call it a day, you're doing great, so much to do, homeschool, and just like the music notes, the headphones, the pencil and notebook, really, really good. Such a good stamp set to document the kids going back to school. And if you are like me and you are a plant lady, then this stamp set is for you. This is called Plant Parent. And uh, you got the grow your own way, give it time to flourish. Welcome to the jungle, plant lady and proud of it. I am totally a plant lady and proud of it. Uh, I can't wait to use this. The stamp is adorable. I love this and it has like plant name, the light, water, how many times you have to water it, the temperature, plant care level, so cute. Can't wait to use that stamp set. So those are the stamp sets that are releasing at Everyday Explorer today. Don't forget, I always add links for everything that I share down in the description box for you. But I believe today I'm going to be using this stamp set in my process video and I will be working in my traveler's notebook. If you're interested to see how I use the stamp set in my traveler's notebook, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, let's start working in my traveler's notebook. I am going to be documenting a photo of myself. I recommend this all the time. Don't forget yourself in your traveler's notebooks or your projects. You know, we always tend to document our children, our spouse, our family members, friends, but we always tend to forget about ourselves. But I thought this prompt stamp set was perfect to add a little bit of journaling about myself and little tidbits about who I am today. And um, I love doing this with my photos where I trim around a certain person and then create a bouquet of flowers that surrounds them. I actually just did that in my live recently, like a few days ago, but I do this all the time and I love it. And I thought it was going to be, you know, the perfect photo to do that. So I literally trimmed around myself. I'm going to add it to my layout here. Then I'm going to go through my Studio Calico color theory kit. That kit came with labels and I love labels and I thought the labels would be perfect to add my journaling. So I just went through them and chose the ones I thought that matched well with my spread. Now that my photo is stuck down, I'm going to grab my drawer of flowers. These are flowers that I tend to just stamp out, trim out myself and keep on hand just in case I need a bunch of flowers for a spread. It makes the process faster. So I'm going to use these black and white flowers to create my bouquet right over my head. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just go with the flow. I tend to trim down flowers, tuck them, all that good stuff. It does not have to be perfect, just have fun. 
I love creating these types of layouts. They're just a lot of fun to do and I love how they turn out. So once I create my bouquet of flowers and you can see me, I'm trying to leave the top side or the top part of my spread empty right above my head because I knew I wanted to start my journaling and stamping above because I wanted to kind of create not speech bubble, but like thoughts, if that makes sense. Like I wanted it to look like it's coming out of my head. So that's why I kept that space empty. And you're going to see how this comes together and it's going to turn out really cool. But anyways, I'm going to start by stamping some prompts and then adding a label next to each prompt. That way I have a prompt and I have some space to add some journaling and kind of cut down a little bit on that dark, dark blue. It's really not that dark, but I wanted to lighten it up a little bit. So that's why I decided to use the lighter shade of blue labels. So some of the prompts I ended up stamping was, I'm really good at this. This really bummed me out. I am, and like this gives me energy. This is what I love about the stamp set. The prompts are really simple but you can add a lot of journaling using that prompt or add a little journaling like I'm doing right now. So like with, I'm really good at this. I just wrote uh, being a mom and scrapbooking. Those are things I feel like I'm really good at. This really bummed me out. I added COVID-19. It totally bummed me out. It bummed out everybody. So little things like that. I think these types of layouts are so easy to put together using a stamp set and just adding a little bit of journaling. You really do not need loads of journaling to tell a story or to, you know, add some journaling. I'm not big at adding a lot of journaling and all that good stuff. Not because I don't like it. It's just not me. I, it takes me a long time to type out one paragraph, believe me. So adding a little bit of journaling with my prompts makes sense to me. I also did add some arrows. I thought it would look cute. I don't know, it just looked cute in my head, so <laughs> I went with it and I'm happy I did it because it just made everything kind of flow nicely with the arrows. And my last arrow and last little uh, label here is going to point to every summer has a story and I felt like that title was perfect for what I'm documenting. So I really like how this turned out. I'm literally just going to be adding my journaling in the labels. And then I felt like I needed to add some color to my flowers and a little bit of color to surround me. So I'm going to grab my enamel dots. I tend to use crystal drops instead, but I really want to use up my enamel dots. I have not been buying any and I'm just trying to finish up what I already have. So I'm going to end up using some black and blue enamel dots and then I call my layout done. I love how this turned out so easy, so quick. I definitely recommend to try it out. Uh, don't forget today is release day at Everyday Explorers. I'm going to be adding all the links for everything I used down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.